What's up, y'all? Got a banger from Alpha Central. Let's get straight into it. Number one mistake guys make in a relationship. Trust in a 304. Shots fired. It's gotta be it. This question, Chief. Why did you and your ex break up? Oh, oh, we're getting deep. Um, That's what we do. Well, 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 he didn't cheat. I'll tell you that. Um, you guys, you cheated. What'd you say? What it is? Oh my God. You know my ex? That's crazy. I like your eyebrows. So, what's the truth behind their breakup? I mean, look, Pico was a good boy. He was, he was good. really nice. He it was a good boy. Out. It just didn't work didn't out. Work out. Respect, respect. All I'm saying. Yes, sir. I'm saying recipe. Girls are quick to call out. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Girls are quick to say she couldn't say nothing bad about him, but yet she still broke up with him. But well, she's out in these streets. She's a runner. She's a track star. So we know what she really thinks. Go to Google and type in. Wondering why I do not. Over a mosquito bite. <laughs> What are these? What are, what are these? Some West Indies mosquitoes? Her anymore. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That does not look like a mosquito bite. Though. His street name is like. <laughs> that is no mosquito. Because I sat on my boyfriend's friend's lap because there was no seats left. Just sit, sit on your boyfriend's lap. Also, bro, absolutely not. If, bro, chat. Let me know if your girl sat on your homie's lap. It's, it's a wrap for me. You're done. Your boyfriend maybe should have got up and let you have the seat. Probably is the correct, correct answer. And then he should have sat on his friend's lap. Yeah. <laughs> I, 25 female, and my boyfriend, B, 25 male, have been dating for two years. B is very intelligent, thoughtful, and polite, but he is a people pleaser and does not like confrontation. He is a best friend, K, 21 male. K has big eyes, a cute button nose, and an adorable smile, and an nah, awful... Nah, fam. Nah, nah girl, fam. You are feeling to compliment him a little too much. Hey, no you're way. feeling... Okay, baby. I don't think there's ever been a faster. Yes. Yeah, you got the cute little button Angry nose. Angry because I refuse to adopt her kids. Good. Be safe. Chat, let me know. Would you adopt another woman's kids? Personally, I'm not for it. Oh, this is because I won't do some type of adoption. I see you keep <laughs> praising all these men that do adoption. I'm not doing adoption so you can take all my money. I'm not doing that. No, they ain't. He don't do No, he don't do nothing. And that's why you mad. That's why you mad. No, he don't do nothing. That's why you mad. That man married somebody else. That's why you so busted and disgusted right now. Busted and disgusted. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to steal that. Yeah. yeah. Trying to look like her. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Hitting her deep yeah. now. Oh, she's mad. She's big mad. Want your stomach her size for some reason. I don't know why. I don't know why. She's fat. I don't know why. How you know? You watch all her stuff? You watching all her stuff? He's cooking her, that, bro. None of that is not, that, that's just making you look crazy. Let's go. Let's keep it coming. Yeah. I'll let that stuff sit there and go buy me all new <laughs> Yeah. I'll let that stuff sit there. And if it get burnt up, then that's, oh, hundreds of thousands of dollars you're going to have to pay. Oh, yes. Believe that. Keep them coming. Let's go. Stack it out here because I'm going to get it all. Oh, yeah. I'm getting that. I'm getting that. She's doing you a solid, my man. Letting right. you. I mean, personally, that's why I say stay away from single moms. If she wasn't good enough for the first man to wife her, why do you think she's good enough for you, bro? Come on. He just says, okay. <laughs> <laughs> bro, if a girl ever sends you a breakup text, just just heart the message or give her one of these. Don't, don't ever go back and forth trying to litigate what a woman talking about a breakup, bro. That's a wrap. The break was only a month. Break was only a month. Oh snap! She's a runner. She's a track star. Oh snap! Oh, multiple many men. Where's death upon me? Where's Fifty Cent when you need him? Oh Lord! Oh man! Lord have mercy! Goodness gracious! It's a wrap for you, buddy boy. Time to make that. It's a whole wrap for you, bro. Let that villain arc start. Me staring at the can I come over message with one in my bed and me waiting for me. She's a runner, she's a track star. Oh my god, that's crazy work, bro. Oh, okay. What's up, man? What's up? What's up? Yeah, man, y'all yeah, foolish, man. For real? Nah, man, listen, man. I think I've seen listen, this. Man, I'm just trying to, bro. Just, you know, you're a real you know, generous man. uncle. I'm just trying to take care of her, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uncle, can I have some too? 
All I'm doing is just taking a <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. The lady behind the, behind the counter knows what's up. <laughs> Your damn uncle. That's not funny. That's not. I'm sorry, but what uncle takes his niece out to do stuff like that? What are you? What are you doing? I'm a little sussy, bro. Funny? What's going on? It's funny. Come on, man. Are you serious? Bro, what I'm trying to say is, man, I, I ain't doing saying that, what? You know what, man? Why are you always? Bro, he about to buy her. He about to buy her a bracelet and go beat the cheeks. Like, I'm just trying to get a little gift or something, man. Shit hot, man. Just get the picture. Bro, man, come on over. That look like a niece and nephew? Or a niece and an uncle to you? Nah, dad, I don't really, I don't care. Okay. Don't put me in the middle of this. No, 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 no. Let's just hold on for a second. Can you get your gift? Come on, man. Come on, man. I think you got enough jewelry. Come on, man. No, 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 no. Because right now he's blowing up this spot, man. No, no, no. Bro, this is a simp right here, bro. Bro, come on, man. This is another spot. Had one guy buy her the necklace? That's crazy work, bro. Don't be this guy. Dude is so happy watching his wife dance suggestively for millions of random men online. A woman that loves her man only wants to show that side of herself to him. I don't have anything against dancing. But let's let's be honest. We all know why she's dancing like that. And it's not just for his eyes. She clearly is craving the attention from, well, she posted it publicly, didn't she? How do you think your wife acting like this publicly online makes you look, bro? That's so tough. Like Man's a just simp, buddy boy. Like a straight simp. Why you going through her phone, bro? Break that window, bitch. Oh, break the window. If she's entitled to privacy, bro, he's... <laughs> she straight Spartan kicked that. <laughs> this is Sparta. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Came to me one night and she told me that she those eyebrows. That's all I'm gonna say. She was sleeping with the bartender's husband. She told me that because she needed a favor. She wanted me to go to the bar where the bartender works at and she wanted me to stay for an hour after she closes up. Basically, she wanted me to keep the bartender busy so she can get busy with her husband. Now, I didn't like this idea because I got a husband of my own. But just because she is my best friend, I couldn't tell her no. So I went to the bar as planned and I sat there until it closed. And out of nowhere, I just struck up a conversation with the bar bartender i was acting like i was interested in her job but after a while she became suspicious she asked me why was i still there and the bar is closed now i started to feel really guilty and i couldn't come up with a quick lie so i just confessed to her i said i'm so sorry but my friend is sleeping with your husband right now and she asked me to keep you occupied the bartender just started smiling at me out of nowhere i was starting to get confused she put her hand on my shoulder and she said i think you better hurry home because because my husband died two years ago. They say it's sisters before misters, but I- Wait. Wait, what? Did she, did she just pull the bamboozle of the century? How you gonna tell me that you- You're not here. She's not yours. It's just your turn, buddy boy. Bro, you should- It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Why are you out there at 6 a.m.? Don't entertain it. Don't entertain it. If she's not there, cool. That there's nothing in the world that can keep a woman faithful. It's just not happening. Um, what's up, what's here? going on? What y'all doing? Did you track me? What the f does it matter? You supposed to be at work late. You working late, right? That's what I was told. Don't look like you're working late. You all know, dressed up. What the f going on, bro? She's working huh? late, bro. What's my, down, what's my dog that's, doing? That's nah, not. Not. She's hitting the street. She's working late. Come on, man. Give her a break. Oh, you <laughs> down, man. Shut the f up. Huh? Y'all dressed up, man? All no, black, nothing, all man. black got up. heels on. You went all out, huh? But we can't go in anywhere. But just, it don't. I'm broke. You my best friend, what you? Bro, I can't believe you. Yeah. Look at you. Look at you. I'm, I'm, you know I'm posting this, right? You're you know I'm posting this, right? right? Look at it's you. not like that, bro. Come on. What is it like? What's going on? Why? Bro, it's not even like that, bro. <laughs> I'm not beating your girl's cheeks, bro. Don't even trip on me, man. You're gonna embarrass. I know she's in like a skin tight black dress and we're out in public and we're probably gonna go out to eat and I'll probably beat her cheeks later, but like, dude, it's not even really like that, bro. Talking okay, now, what's going on? Why did you not? Why are you here? You're 20 minutes out of here. We're fine, ma'am. Some other <laughs> like, man, shut bro. Yo, for real, just put the camera away and we can Outside talk, of man. a trill burgers. <laughs> Damn, bro. Why the <laughs> I hold my girl? Why are you at home? You wonder why I left you at home? 
See what I'm saying? Oh, so y'all are together, right? No, man, we no are y'all together, right? She said she was working late, but she- Yoinks, Scooby. She's a runner, she's a track star. Feel bad for the guy. Not really, though. And he asked you for some, would you do it? Yeah. Two girls. Better be two girls. Girls or two guys? Two guys. No. She's a runner, she's a track star. No. Would you be down for that? He wouldn't want that. Like, he would do two girls. I'm more of a two girls guy. So, honest question, right? If she gave you a guilt-free pass to sleep with anybody in the world, would you take it? I don't really follow any, like, models or celebrities. That's not really my my type, so probably no. How about you? Okay. Oh, you know she would. Hey, like, Aaron Judge. Damn! I mean, I, I, I guess. I that. love Aaron Judge. What do you love about him? Oh my god, he's 6'8". He likes for the New York Yankees. The only reason why he's holding on to her- <sighs> So bad for this guy, man. That men who marry virgins on their wedding night are more likely or less likely to get divorced? More. Guess what? This is- <laughs> Stupid. More. It's way less, actually. It's gonna blow your mind. I'm wrong. Way less likely. Way Why less would you likely, say yeah. that is? I waited this long, though. might as well stay. Because it's because, no, it's because chastity is directly linked with religion. And so the more religious people are, the more they tend to say chaste. And the thing that keeps their marriage together, those are the men who they value virtue. What if they're not religious? Even virgin women who get married to non virgin men who are secularist still end up staying married longer. But they could like still stay married, but what about is a man cheating? Do you think? Think that a man cheating would be a requisite which would lead to divorce yes well then they must cheat less right you don't know that yes we do know that because we have the statistics on the reason given for divorce there's no points in having an adult Bro, conversation i would never go back and forth with andrew he is just gonna cook you his middle name might as well be gordon ramsay because he's gonna straight cook you men with the appearance of options are always in the hoe phase always in the hoe phase Imagine how tough it is being a pretty woman and being hit on everywhere you go. Restaurants, the gym, work. Yeah, those options tend to run out. Yeah, I mean, I guess it'd be tough. I wouldn't know anything about that because I'm beat. Why do we see so many women leaving good relationships? She's leaving him because she wants the fantasy man. Yep. When she was younger, because she couldn't have her needs met every single time by the father, she created the fantasy man. Mm -hmm. And this man was everything to her, and he follows her- Siri, show me the relationship with her father. <laughs> oh, it's non-existent? Makes sense. ...her along in her mind every day until she's an adult woman. And when she dates, she looks for the fantasy of that man in every man that sat opposite her at a table drinking that glass of wine. Is he listening to me? When I say things, is he excited? Does he want to hear all about my life? If I was to cry, is he going to hold me? She's looking for that fantasy man, and every time that man across the table shows her an inkling that maybe he's not 100% perfect, she's like, nope, I'm on to the next guy. That's not the guy for me. That's not the guy for me. He's not aligning with me. If she's lucky enough to find a relationship, if she's blessed enough to have a husband, every time they fall out, she goes, yeah, you know what? He just it. doesn't meet my needs. He's mm -hmm. not understanding me. You know, she thinks that there's a man out there, this fantasy man, that's going to meet her needs 100% and is going to understand her 100% of the time. This man does not exist. It is an illusion that you have to break. No man is going to understand you 100% of the time. No individual is going to meet your needs 100% of the time. You're not even going to meet your own needs 100% of the time. It's an illusion. So many women... I mean, she's so right, though. She's so right. And the problem is with, with women, the more they're promiscuous and have a higher body count, like the more the more likely it is that they're just going to try and Frankenstein a man. Well, Jason had this and Mark had that and Chris was really good at like You're always going to be let down because you're always, comparison is a thief of joy. You're always going to be comparing the next man to the past man. He did on you before? Yes, he had emotionally. Oh, emotionally. <laughs> For an Xbox. For an Xbox? Yeah. <laughs> Emotionally cheated for an Xbox. What does that even mean, Jerry? He's sitting He's to a what? girl. He's sitting in a girl. You He's said in to a girl so you can get an Xbox? Yeah, he was that desperate. Okay, that's not desperate. That's called Do your thing, dude. Do your look at look look at that grin. He knew what he was doing. 
I'm guilty for that one. And after seeing... <laughs> That's a new one, chat. After seeing you, she still wanted to send it? <laughs> I, I, I'm just saying, yeah. yeah. Okay. He couldn't help but... I'm just saying that dude, yeah, that dude was not that great looking, bro. It doesn't look like he's in crazy good shape, but like, he, he was probably, with, probably an older woman, to be honest. I divorced my wife because the way that she started dressing. I told her from, from the jump that I don't like women that dress provocative. I don't like that stuff at all. Mm -hmm. You have to dress modest. You know what yes. I'm saying? Only dress provocative if it's just me and you inside the house. So she started hanging out with these girls from a job. And, you know, I met them. And I'm... Birds of a feather flock together, buddy. Instantly just thinking in my mind that this is not a good group right here. I said, I don't think you should be hanging out with these chicks because all these chicks are single. Mm -hmm. After about like a month... You know what I'm saying? With her chilling with these girls, she started dressing like how they was dressing. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. I was like, where are you going with that on? And then she told me, she was like, it's just an outfit. It's not, it's not much. I'm just, you know, just dressing for the occasion. I'm like, no. Nah. I said, no, nah, you got to take that off. I'm like, no, nah, I don't care who you hanging with. You can't put that on, man. You're not going to go out there dressed like that. And instead of her going to change, she left anyway. She said, no, this is, what I'm gonna wear, all my friends are dressing She's like this, and She's this is just what I'm gonna wear. Okay. When she came back, it only take one time to do that that thought stuff with me. You know what I'm saying? When she came back, two o'clock in the morning, all her stuff was outside. All of it. She was knocking on the door, calling my phone, asking me to let her in. I said, no, it's over. I said, you only got one time to do me like that. And I'm like, yeah, it's over. Nah, heck no. I asked you not to go out there and dress like that. You know what I'm saying? And stuff like you showing too much. I said, it's over. So I threw all her stuff out and then let her back in. He was shocked and appalled. Smart man, but that's the thing, dude. When these women start hanging out with other single women, they start acting like them because these single women want them to act single too. They don't want you to be the one that's in a relationship. And the thing is, most of the times with these women, they will tell, like... Yeah, girl, I'm in a relationship. Things are going great. And the girls that are single, they're not happy for you. They don't want you to be in a, in a happy relationship. Think about telling somebody that's on their last dollar that you just made $10,000 last month. They would be so envious and jealous of you. They would not be happy for you one bit. Not one freaking bit. And that's what happens when these single or these women in relationships hang out with these single women is they go hang out with single women and these single women are not happy for them because they want to be in a relationship. They don't want to hear how great you're doing. They want to hear you down bad like them. Misery absolutely adores company. Always remember that, gents. Always remember that. Family member Damn. sent a text and lied. Yes, Your Honor. And you went and had revenge. Yes, Your Honor. And the whole time it was a lie? Yes, Your Honor. And Mr. Fisher, as you stand here, I can see how difficult it is to hear your fiance describe the. Bro, the best thing is when a girl tries to do that to you and you just don't care. <laughs> a girl in college tried to do that to me and I was like, I don't care. <laughs> I was like, you, you, go get your body count higher. Good for you. Night she had with another person. And you knew nothing about this until after Sophia was born. Oh. Yes, Your Honor. I can see how much that hurts you. Dang. A lot. There's no way she didn't already have a guy in. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's brutal. You back up. Let me in the car. I'm not letting you in the car again. For what? I'm not letting you in on this side. You get in the car on the other side, bro. You trying to drive all of Bro, I'm not going to drive up. Say you promise. Huh? I huh. promise. Go ahead. Hey, get on the other side, bro. Just say you're gonna drive over. G, yep. Yeah. Speaking, brother. Sad. No. Yeah, the same. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
You can't hit- Man, bro. Hey, good for this young man, though. Good for this young man. Loki, you want to be jerky? Come here. Sit. Wait. Free. Free. Go to your place. Yeah, man, you always got to stay a step ahead. And, and the thing is, what's so funny to me is that women can have preferences, but men, we just have insecurities. That's what they call it. We can't have a preference. Cass knows she can't go out, she can't go out dressed provocatively. Absolutely cannot. She can't go wear crazy things like she's dressed going to a nightclub. She doesn't even have gear like that. She doesn't have stuff like that. Like she wears leggings and a crop top pretty much all the time. Um, but if she wanted to go out and hang out with her single friends and wear something crazy, I'd be like, absolutely not. No. There's no way. But you got to have that line in the sand. You got to have that boundary because if you don't, these women will test you and they'll do whatever they want. And then really be weary if your girl has a lot of single girlfriends. Birds of a feather flock together, brother. And if she's hanging out with those girls, more than likely she's telling those girls how great you are and those girls are just saying, he ain't nothing. Demonizing what you're doing. Saying, oh, he's insecure this, he's insecure that. I'm, me and Cass are only friends with people in relationships for a specific reason. We want to hang out with people that are like-minded. We don't hang out with single people. It goes, it goes completely against everything that we believe in. Only friends with people in relationships. It just is what it is. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Loki, did you have a good time? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go cop the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality. Makes you irresistible to women and respected by men. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.